Hello guys, welcome to a new video that I'm going to be making. Uh, this is a premiere, so I'm not going to be able to tell you. I'm not going to be able to talk to you, so... But I'm going to be here talking about some new releases coming out. And uh, I tried doing this as a live stream, but... Uh, and nobody wanted to join, so... Yeah. Um, I'm going to be talking about some new releases, so... Um, I just got the Walking Dead Complete series on Blu-ray, and I did order on from Target. I did order two things: the Kill Bill Volume Two Blu-ray. I just got it. It's coming in the mail at some point. Um, I also picked up the Saw Eight Movie Collection on Blu-ray as like a combo set. So, and I'm aware that there's a nine movie collection, and that there's gonna be a, there's already a tenth movie out right now. And since the tenth movie got the best ratings, I'm trying to catch up on them. I mean, I, I always thought the Saw movies were too graphic and everything, but I mean, I just gotta say though, the original Saw movie has to be probably one of the greatest horror films of the two thousands, my personal opinion. And I think almost everybody else should agree with me that it has a great premise. It's got probably one of the probably one of the best endings ever, though. I gotta say, I love the ending. Um. So there's going to be some 4Ks releasing by Christmas time. Apparently, Titanic is making its way onto 4K for the first time. And we just got Avatar this summer, so... And I'm really excited about the Titanic 4K. I still haven't picked up Avatar because it's sold out and I can't find it anywhere. I can find the second one, but I can't find the original one. So um, I will say that the new Titanic 4K, sadly, information has come out. And sadly, it does not have the full widescreen version like I originally heard. I heard originally that they it does include it, but it doesn't anymore. Not at all. Instead, it's only the letterbox copy that you're going to be getting. And apparently the collector's edition is going to have the same exact version. You're not getting anything else in the collector's edition. You're just getting the letterbox copy. And apparently it's revealed that the... That you get two discs. Apparently a 4K movie disc and a Blu-ray bonus disc. And it's a new bonus disc. It's not like the one in the other set. Instead you're getting more stuff. So I don't know if you're going to get the same stuff though on the other disc as well as some new stuff. Um, I know that it's... It, I've Every release of Titanic that I've owned... It's in letterbox widescreen, and I wanted to see the the full widescreen version because I mean the Blu-ray 3D is really hard to find, and that's the only version that has it. So I was hoping that the 4K would have it to make it worth money and everything, pretty much, basically worth worth your trip to the store to buy it. Uh, there's also other movies that are coming out on 4K for the first time due to the new Color Purple movie coming out this December. This Christmas, actually, we are actually getting a 4K for the original Color Purple from Steven Spielberg. So, we're getting that, I'm pretty sure, in November. Um, some really great stuff coming out. Um, there's some uh, movies getting re-released on 4K, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there's one big one, if I can remember it properly. I know that we're getting apparently a 4K plus Blu-ray set of the new Weird Al biopic film. So we're getting uh, Weird the Al Yankovic story um, on 4K plus Blu-ray and a Blu-ray plus DVD from Shout Factory. I mean, Shout Factory just recently released a steelbook version of Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Probably one of the worst uh, movies ever made, but... Um, it's the film industry nowadays. I mean, it's either that or it's the younger generation. Just everything's all messed up nowadays. So, I mean, I gotta say, I mean, some of the stuff that comes out nowadays, I mean, there's been some shitty movies and there's been some good movies. And it doesn't seem to me like we're getting any good movies nowadays. I mean, we're getting a couple good movies here and there, but that's about it. Speaking of good movies, Oppenheimer is coming out on physical media on November 21st, and it's also coming out on digital the same day. So, and information about that one, um, so apparently if you haven't seen my post on the community, that there is, uh, the Blu-ray version 
and the 4K version, I forgot to specify that, have the movie in IMAX, while the DVD will be in letterbox widescreen. And I can only assume that the digital version will be in letterbox widescreen as well. But I am really excited about this. Apparently we're getting a two-disc DVD set and a three-disc Blu-ray Plus DVD set, which is going to have two Blu-rays and two in, in one DVD. Then we're going to get the 4K Plus Blu-ray set, which is going to have one 4K and two DVD, uh, two Blu-rays, actually. Um, but I'm surprised we're actually getting Oppenheimer. I'm happy about that. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 comes out on October 31st on 4K, Blu-ray, and DVD. The 4K is going to have a steelbook version, which is going to be 4K plus Blu-ray, and it, um, it looks really cool. I honestly really like the cover of it so far. So, we're getting that, and... There's some more stuff uh, coming out. Uh, Meg 2, The Trench, hasn't come out yet. Probably one of the worst movies of the year, but, I mean, there's still people that liked it, so, I mean, whoever likes the movie, it's coming out on the 27th next Friday. The Friday, the Five Nights at Freddy's comes out, which... I can only assume that Five Nights at Freddy's is going to come out in December. I'm, that's my prediction because after all, I mean, it usually takes about a couple months for a movie to come out if it's on digital at the same time as the movie on in the theaters. So, and this movie is going to be simultaneously releasing on cable TV, the Peacock, uh, on a premium, and you're also going to get to see it in the theaters. And it looks like, to me, the tickets are selling out like crazy. And I'm not kidding. I bought my tickets a month ahead of time. Alright, and the tickets for the theater near me are nearly sold out. Alright, there's only like, if I'm not mistaken, like six seats left. So, and it's at one specific time. And it's it's amazing how crazy the, the movie's going to be selling out. Five Nights at Freddy's, I guarantee you. You, I guarantee you. It's probably going to be one of the highest grossing video game movies of all time. Probably the highest grossing one. Because, I mean, I gotta say, when I'm when it comes to video game movies, I want it to be a good movie. At, at least entertaining, in a way. If the movie doesn't give me any, like, nostalgia, or it doesn't come out to me with great acting, or good scares, or a good storyline, at least... Like, if we're talking about, like, the Resident Evil movies, for an example, those movies didn't come out to me as great movies. Instead, they came out to me as pretty awful. <laughs> and I think everybody uh, everybody that's a critic agrees with me on that one. I mean, there's still people that support the franchise, so, I mean, that's your opinion. But, I mean, it's no Last of Us. And we already, we got the Sonic movies, we got 1 and 2 already, and I saw both of them in the theaters. Uh, Sonic 3 is yet to come out in next year, December of next year. Um, so we have only those ones. We're getting Five Nights at Freddy's next Friday. I'm excited. I think everybody else is too. Um... Apparently there's gonna be, speaking of The Walking Dead, which I have that right here, we're actually getting a new series. One that's going to feature the two two characters that have been long gone from the show for a while now. And that's Rick and Michonne. And uh, I think, I can't remember the other ones, the woman that uh, lived in that trash land area, in this dump. I don't, I, I don't really remember her name, but she's going to be in the show too. So, I mean, that's the reason why I bought this set, so I can watch everything all over again. But, um, I just only saw, like, season one to eight, It'll half of season eight. But, I, I'm excited to rewatch the series, though. That's the reason why I bought that. I mean, that was, like, 150 bucks. But, you want to know something, though? I bought this on my birthday. I pre-ordered it about a month ahead of time. And, it's selling out on Target.com. I'm looking right, I looked, like, a while ago. There's only, like, a couple left, so... Buy them up when you can. Um, I got my copy of the of the movie right here. Well, I got my copy of the series actually. Um, I got it where it was gonna be a hundred and sixty bucks with the tax and the shipping, pretty much. That was originally what it was gonna be cost. What it would cost. I got this 
when there was a sale on some of the movies and everything, there was actually a sale on that. So I got, I put the sale, I put my target circle earnings towards it, and they gave me a discount because it was my birthday, which I'm happy about because I saved 20 bucks on this release. I got the set for 140 bucks instead of 160. That's a really good deal. In my in my way of looking at things, it's a really good deal. And it's got all 11 seasons of The Walking Dead. So, I'm excited about that. Um, like I said before, I'm getting Kill Bill Volume 2. Actually, did I mention that yet? I'm getting Kill... Uh, I don't remember if I mentioned that yet. Um, I'm getting Kill Bill Volume 2 in the mail, possibly at some point. Because I ordered it through Target.com. And I also ordered Saw 8 Movie Collection. Yeah, I think I mentioned that. Um, the new Saw movie is also, I heard rumors that it's coming out in December on physical media, like on Blu-ray, 4K, DVD. It's going to be coming out in December. So we're getting those releases, and I'm excited about it. I think everybody else is because, I mean, I, I heard it was good. I want to see it. I hope it's good. I hope I like it. Um, to continue talking about this, uh, we got Oppenheimer coming out. I'm really excited about that. That is probably going to be one of the biggest things yet. And I think I've reached the barrier of what I can talk about. So, who's ever willing to go see, to go buy these movies and everything, I guarantee you, there's going to be people in line buying the 4Ks of Oppenheimer. I guarantee you, you're going to be, if you're trying to look for Oppenheimer, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that there is going to be so many people going to buy this movie because I've tried looking for some movies in the past and they have sold out almost immediately. Movies like Nope, The Black Phone. I actually found Nope at the Best Buy when it first came out, and while everybody else sold out pretty much. And um, Black Phone was one. I couldn't even get that one for like two months. And now that they just released it on 4K, I mean, <laughs> I don't care. Um, Super Mario Bros. movie, I actually got it a week early on Blu-ray. But once it released, it sold out. And I was like, bro... I got this movie a week early, so I wouldn't have to deal with waiting, and I was happy. Barbie has just came out today. I forgot to mention that. There's been a handful of movies that just came out today. Today's Tuesday, right? I think today's Tuesday. No. No. Today's Wednesday. So it came out yesterday. Barbie came out yesterday. Last Voyage of the Demeter came out yesterday. Um... We just got Strays like a week ago, pretty much, as well as Kill Bill Volume 1, Kill Bill Volume 2, Jackie Brown. They got all released, re-released on Blu-ray as combo packs. I gotta pick up all three of them. Oh, man. Um, I gotta pick up Strays at some point. That one, that's a movie I'm dying to pick up, too. So, I'm excited about that one. Um, Haunted Mansion just came out yesterday as well. That's another one that just came out. I saw Haunted Mansion in the theaters. I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was interesting. I mean, I thought it was a good Disney movie that came out. I mean, not many good Disney movies come out lately. I mean, the movie was a little shitty, but, I mean, it's better than Strange World. <laughs> everybody who's ever seen Strange World, almost everybody would probably agree with me on that, that Strange World's probably one of the worst Disney movies ever made. I mean, it's like chicken little bad it's that bad so i mean there's still some people that back it up saying oh it had great animation if that's the only thing you focus on then i don't think you understand how much pain everybody else goes through focusing on the plot all the character development Everybody else saying that it has great animation. Everybody else suffers, pretty much. Also, December, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is another shitty Disney movie coming out in December on 4K Blu-ray and DVD. 
Um, looks to me that the pre-orders are out. So, at least I've seen on, I think, Target and I think Amazon have had them released. Um, Walmart might have them for pre-order. Um, I don't know. But they also just re re they also just released the uh, the new uh, Boogeyman movie on physical media. That movie, I will tell you this about movies that come out lately: the Boogeyman has to be one of the most underrated movies that have came out lately. All right, and I say this to all people: when you watch a horror movie, you want good storyline. Smart decisions, likable characters, not too many jump scares, and one last thing. And that is something that movies do not have in common with other movies. And the Boogeyman may not have likable characters. Well, they don't have much great character development, pretty much. That movie didn't have great character development, so if I was to give it a, on a 10-star scale, drop it one star already, um, because that's a huge part of the, f of the film, pretty much. Uh, there's not too many jump scares, so that's actually a good thing. I mean, there's a handful of them, but not too many. I mean, it's not insidious. And speaking of insidious... The new movie, <laughs> don't even watch it. Don't even watch it. I uh, I would say don't even watch the entire franchise itself because, I mean, I don't like the Insidious franchise. I watched the majority of the movies, and I say it sucks. The franchise sucked because, I mean, it wasn't... It, it never hit me as scary. I found it to be more painful, pretty much. I didn't like the characters. I... I, every single time I watched the movies, I was like, please kill these guys off. Kill this family off. I am sick of these people. And the newest one has Patrick Wilson back. Patrick Wilson's a great actor and everything, but he... <sighs> Fuck the franchise. Just gotta say that. Um, the Boogeyman, though, gotta say, the movie has some really interesting scenes. There's, like, one, uh, one or two scenes that are a bit goofy. Like, goofy in, like, physics kind of thing. Like, uh, some of the uh, details might come to people as off. And I mean off by mean, like, nobody would ever want it to happen. And it happens. And it's completely unimaginable. Nobody thinks it's, like, realistic, pretty much. Nobody thinks it's even, like... Eh. People come across it as subpar. You understand? So, that's what I mean by off. I mean off, meaning some scares are not as good as other scares. Like, I think the movie gets creepier as it goes on, and I like its good use of have uh, creepy scenes because I mean I like that the movie's only an hour and a half that's a, that's a key detail in the boogeyman but I do like how it actually captures a creepy atmosphere that holds terrifying creatures in the dark pretty much and everybody's had those nightmares as a child everybody's had those nightmares where it was creepy you didn't even know what was going to be under the bed. You don't know what's in the closet. You don't know what's outside the window or anything outside your door. You could hear, like, the lock turning or the doorknob turning or something. This movie captures all of that. Everything. You hear noises in the night. This movie captures that fear. And I gotta say, I love it. I loved the film. I thought it was a great movie. I thought it was worth every... I, I saw it twice in the theaters. I went with my mom to see it. She missed the first 10 minutes, but honestly, the first 10 minutes was a little fucked up. But... It kind of set things in motion, though. So, I mean, it introduces you to the creature. And uh, the creature had a great design. I mean, I'm happy that Stephen King is happy. That's the thing that helps me 
focus on this movie the most. Because, I mean, Pet Cemetery has bad ratings. And that movie has been labeled as a cult classic. A masterpiece. People have labeled it as a Stephen King masterpiece. So, I don't mind. I do not mind seeing The Boogeyman again. I would rewatch that movie, no problem. That movie was probably one of the best Stephen King movies I've seen in a long time. Because, I mean, I liked Doctor Sleep. I liked It. I liked The Shining, the original one. I've seen so many Stephen King movies of the years. I just recently watched a new Stephen King movie. Um, yeah, Stephen King and George A. Romero. Uh, I just rewatched. I just watched for the first time the movie Creepshow, and I gotta say, <laughs> it was funny, stupid, quirky, but entertaining. So anybody who's never seen the movie Creepshow, which I highly doubt it because it's it's a huge Halloween creature feature pretty much i think everybody's seen the movie so i i'm just gonna tell you i thought the movie was pretty enjoyable uh I still say it's about like a seven out of ten i thought it was uh it's not the best stephen king movie you understand um i still gotta say that though that i liked the remake of pet cemetery over the original one kind of like how stephen king liked the or the new one over the original I'm pretty sure he didn't like the original. I, I can't remember what his reaction was to that movie, but I'm pretty sure I heard that he didn't like the original. But he liked the new one because the new one was a good take on the story. I agree. So, yeah. I've seen movies like The Dead Zone, which... The Dead Zone is actually getting a 4K this year. This is helping me... <laughs> find out the names of like the movies because I know that they have to do with something that I'm talking about because I eventually figured out hey this was the movie that I was trying to get to I couldn't think of it well Creepshow made it onto 4k this year too and that one was early in this year though if I'm not mistaken it was either no actually I think it was last month uh, last month or this month I can't remember but the movie Dead Zone is coming out on 4k if not mistaken from shout factory i can't really remember who's releasing it i mean it could be shout factory it could be keen larper i can't remember i think it's shout factory though um we're also getting a 4k for tales from the dark side the movie which is another stephen king movie so that's gonna be awesome um there's uh other movies that are coming out that i'm really excited about uh, we just recently got the 4K of The Mist, which I never expected that movie to come out on 4K. One of my favorite Stephen King movies. Um, pretty great. I'm happy. Um, so, I have plans, so I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'm going to start watching some Walking Dead tonight. Yeah, if nobody's seen the video, if everybody loves The Walking Dead, I think so. Um, the Blu-ray is right here. It's freaking huge. That Blu-ray, that Blu-ray box set is one of the biggest box sets I've ever bought. It's probably the most expensive box set I've ever bought. I mean, I, I'm not into Game of Thrones, but that I heard that the Game of Thrones box set was huge too. So yeah. But I'm going to end the video here. I got plans to go places. So, and it's it's midday pretty much. Past midday. And, well. I also got to take a piss. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified of the latest videos. And, be, and stay tuned for my unboxing of Kill Bill Volume 2 and Saw 8 Movie Collection. Thank you.